Hello, and welcome to my introductory video on Azure Integration Services brought to you by Decoded Clouds. In today's video, we'll be covering the basic concepts of an integration platform and some of its core components. We'll also cover some basic terms associated with cloud computing and provide a high-level overview of Microsoft's integrated platform-as-a-service offering called Azure Integration Services. Let's get started. An application integration strategy is an essential need for any organization regardless of size. As your business begins to grow, the number of applications needed to support your business processes grows as well. Rarely does an enterprise business process span a single application. The typical scenario is that a business process or workflow spans multiple applications and needs data from multiple data sources to completely succeed. These data sources could be internal in the application to application scenario or can be external in the business to business scenario. The first inclination is to directly connect the applications that need data from each other or create data integration solutions that simply copy the data needed into another data store. Though this is appropriate in certain scenarios, what happens over time is that you end up with spaghetti type integrations and it becomes very difficult to identify the dependencies on a given application when it's time to upgrade or replace that given application. It also leads to duplication of data throughout your organization and as time and personnel turnover occur and integrations continue to grow, you lose track of where your master data is being utilized. This is where specialized integration platforms shine. They provide the services needed to establish a reliable application integration strategy for your organization and a common integration layer for your enterprise applications and external partners to leverage. Traditionally, these integration platforms have run in on-premises data centers. You might have worked with solutions like Microsoft's BizTalk server, which is one of these solutions. Today's push for modernization and digital transformation initiatives is being driven by the push to the public cloud, and the evolution of modern integration platforms are no different. Today, companies are now leveraging what is being called Integration Platform as a Service, or iPaaS, which are cloud-based integration platforms. PaaS is a category of cloud computing services that provides a platform allowing customers to develop, run, and manage applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the infrastructure typically associated with developing and launching an app. What this means for an organization leveraging a past cloud offering is that you no longer have to worry about the management of the network, servers, storage, operating system, middleware, database, and any other underlying components for a given service. You control the software deployment and its dependencies, and the provider manages the rest. Billing is a consumption model where you pay for what you use, usually measured by the number of times a given service is executed or activated. IPaaS is thus simply the implementation of an integration platform leveraging the platform as a service strategy. Microsoft's offering in this space is called Azure Integration Services. The offering is a combination of independent cloud services that can be combined to create mission critical enterprise integrations. An IPaaS solution is made up of four core cloud services. An API gateway and management solution allow you to efficiently and consistently expose your APIs and services that are in the cloud or on-premise. It creates a single point of entry where you can publish catalogs of APIs and services and promote reuse and discoverability. It also allows you to enforce policies that are consistent for the enterprise. A way to efficiently create orchestrations that implement the workflows that integrate all the required applications and data sources for a given business process. An enterprise-grade service bus that allows applications to communicate through messaging. This enables loosely coupled asynchronous communications between disparate applications through the use of queued messages. It also enables certain messaging patterns such as published subscribe patterns. Finally, in today's modern cloud architectures, a technology that facilitates event-driven architectures is a requirement. With cloud architectures, polling for new data or events can prove costly. The more efficient pattern is to register for an event and be notified when that event occurs. You can then execute the process to handle the event. Microsoft includes all four of these offerings in their iPad solution in the form of the following components. 
API management, which provides an API gateway and developer portal that allows you to manage and expose all of your cloud-based and on-premise APIs. Logic Apps, which supports orchestration of business processes in a declarative fashion with minimum to no coding required. Service Bus, which provides reliable enterprise messaging. And finally, Event Grid, which allows for raising and delivering of events. These are the four independent components that could be used in various combinations to build a robust integration strategy for your enterprise that will enable features such as building a hybrid integration solution where you can expose on-premise apps and data, enabling business-to-business, application-to-application, and software-as-a-service integrations. That's it for this introduction into Azure Integration Services. In future videos, I will begin a deep dive into each of these technologies and the supporting architecture. I will also discuss best practices around implementing Azure integration service solutions and review the latest features released. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest postings or visit our website at www.decodedclouds.com.